Dude, face reveal. <laughs> Damn it, busted again. Can I leave that in the video? <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> Let me see the wheels that you just showed me. Uh, all right. So these ones are the methods. Okay. I got, I got three colors for these guys. There's the raw aluminum. We got the gold and the black. And all black. Do they all have brass rings? Uh, yeah, everything's got a, a brass ring. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then these ones, uh, it's just the faces, but I had some that were machine drawn, so I got a, a, a few sets of these with the brass face, but the rest of it's aluminum then. Mm hmm so, Yeah, that's it for now. Oh, you're not going to show the other ones? No, they're too good. Dude, I'm that's them for myself. <laughs> those are the ones I wanted to show. Look at these things, dude. They're actually so good. Dude, they're really nice. I, I'm surprised. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right. No problem. All right. That's see you. Yep, bye. Um, what's up, boys? Look who decided to show what up. The cat dragged in. This is going to be a disaster. <laughs> Leave it. I'm a link bending machine. <laughs> You're doing it too. <laughs> Your back window just fell. <laughs> Fluffernutter in them. Do it just. What's up, boys? What's up, boys? Reached out to 2,000 people. Top 10 answers are on the paper. I put a story on my Instagram and asked, what's your favorite motor slash ESC combo? Let's just jump right into it. Top answer, Furitech, with roughly 300, with roughly 392 people. The top motors from Furitech that were said, Micro Komodo, Cedar, and Venom. I agree with all those. The Venom, that's a good budget option if you want something cheap. Cedar, the Cedar motor, it doesn't spin. It's just static in one place. This is good if you're trying to do, fit a bunch of tight stuff in there. You can have wires up against the motor and you don't have to worry about the motor like wearing down the wires or hitting anything else. You can, you could double side sticky something right through the motor and it'll be fine. I agree with that one too, Cedar. Micro Komodo, um, I don't think I have anything special to say about the Micro Komodo. It works well, I have several of them. I agree and it's no surprise it was the top choice. Next up, Mofo RC with 341 people. Nano Bam and SMP. Nano Bam, I agree with that. I have nothing else to say about it. SMP, this is my personal top motor choice. The SMP is the orange pancake from Mofo RC. This is my top motor choice. Next up, we had 244 roughly. People say the Enjora Fat Viper. That's this big boy. Um, yeah, I agree with this. This has been a good, smooth, powerful motor. The only downside is how big it is. So, if you're looking at this motor, you'd want to keep in mind how much space you have inside your truck. Two other brands that I'll mention in case you want to look them up. They didn't get many bites though. Hobby Wing, and then Big Kid Tiny Truck. And that's all for the motors. Something else for all you extremely new people is motor mounts. You're going to need a motor mount for whatever motor you get. This black piece here, this is just the stock transmission. And then this red piece, that's the motor mount. And that ad adapts the motor to the transmission. It makes it all fit together. There's different motor mounts that you're going to need depending on what motor you're using because they have different bolt styles on how they attach. If you're crafty, you might be able to use a stock motor mount. This is a brushless mofo mount. And then right here where these two screws are, I ovaled, I ovaled the stock holes out some. And then used these brass standoffs. And with ovaling the holes off, you can kind of adjust the motor where you want it. And that's how this was able to work with a stock motor mount. So if you're handy, crafty you might be able to make the stock mount work. 
Next up, ESCs. I just realized I don't have this in order. That's okay. Also, we had a lot less people fill out their favorite ESC versus the motor, but we still got some good numbers to go on. Top choice, FureTech with 107. Then we have, what's next? Okay, I messed up how I wrote this. Next up, we have Enjora, which I put down here. 56 people said Enjora. And then Big Kid Tiny Truck, VTech, Dinky RC, Hobby Wing, and then two other brands that I just wanted to mention, Mofo, Rockwolf, and Castle. They were some lesser picked ones, but I still wanted to put them on there. Let me quickly give my opinions on these. FureTech ESC, I think I agree with it being at the top. With the FureTech ESC, you can get this little Bluetooth thing that plugs in, and you can get an app on your phone that you can tune it right from your phone. Right here's the app that it uses. Fura car. It's hard to beat being able to do this right on your phone. You get like a whole throttle curve here where you can adjust. What else do we have here? Drag brake, max brake, max forward, motor rotation, voltage cutoff. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can adjust. You can do it right from your phone. Extremely handy. I do have a negative about FuraTech compared to the other brands. Customer service, I haven't had good luck. I've messaged FuraTech several times with no responses. I think if you're going with like the Big Kid Tiny Truck, VTech, and Dinky, probably these three are going to be the best customer service. These are just guys on Instagram doing their thing. Enjora, 56. I was kind of surprised at how many people said the Enjora one. I don't have a problem with mine. It was easy. It hooked right up to the Fat Viper perfectly. It's definitely bulky. I don't think I have anything else to say about it. It's cheap and it works well. I just wasn't expecting that many people to say it. VTech, Dinky, Big Kid Tiny Truck. I've used all three of those. They work well. And like I said about the customer service, those three are probably going to be the best. Hobby Wing, only 14 people with that one. I think it's probably because it's fairly new. We just tried one and it worked well. I had no problems with it. Now, I also reached out to a handful of people asking their motor ESC choice and also if they wanted to add any extra motor slash ESC information. First person I reached out to, Brandon at Fine Line Crawlers. I reached out to this guy because he was mad that I didn't reach out to him in the tire video. I like the tire video. I'm watching it now. I'm surprised you didn't message me. LOL. All good. I'm not mad. That's how you know he's mad. But I will say, this guy has been very helpful in the comments. He does leave lengthy comments that actually help. His motor ESC choice, Nanobam V2. Mofo Nanobam V2 paired with a VTech ESC. Yep, Mofo Nanobam. That was one of the top choices. And then, if you want to pause it and read everything you wrote about this, there you go. Next up, we got Partying Guy Dave. Wait, that's not right. Go give this guy a follow. He's been a huge part of the channel. I reached out to him for very obvious reasons. He knows way more than I do. His motor, Mofo SMP. That's my favorite. Good choice. ESC. He chose the Big Kid Tiny Truck. And then he also talked about batteries and KV. If you'd like to pause and read the rest of it. Next up. Dang on it. I just lost my place again. Next up, Texoma RC. Again, reached out to this guy because clearly he knows what he's doing. And he wrote a lot. Mofo, FuraTech. Okay, FuraTech with the Bluetooth situation. Okay, we got a lot of stuff here. I'm just going to go through it. You guys can pause it if you care. This is actually very helpful if you're trying to learn more about this. He, he also talks about motor KV and how to pick a size based on your truck. 240 Zach, 
reached out to him to get his opinion. He does a lot of comps. He says, favorite combo, Mofo MV, Mofo MVP. What motor is that? Oh, the medium one? Okay, that's the wrong answer. So Mofo has three of these pancake motors. The orange one is the SMP. That's the one that everybody chose as their top choice. 240 Zach is saying the black one, the middle one. No, that's the wrong choice. What else does he say here? Mofo Nano Bam. Okay, yep. That was one of our top choices. He got that one right. And a Dinky D Drive ESC. He probably wasn't the best to ask for an ESC because he's a team driver for Dinky. So I feel like he kind of has to say that. That's okay. He also says, as a little extra tip, don't be afraid to mix motor and mount companies. There's a ton of mount options out there. Yep, I agree with that. Thank you, 240 Zach. Next up, I reached out to Venge RC. There's his Etsy. I reached out to Venge because he's extremely helpful and he just seems like a nice, knowledgeable person. Let's see what he says. For motors, I usually run Furitech. The smoothest I've run is the Cedar. Really like the size and form factor of the Micro Komodo. Like the power of the Mini Komodo for rigs 450 plus. So, Cedar, Micro Komodo, Mini Komodo. Yes, I agree with all of those. Those are all good. E Let's see what he says for ESCs. I've been happy with Furitech products as well. Can't compare... Can't compare to the tubing on the Bluetooth. Okay. Can't compare to the tubing on the Bluetooth app. My favorite, once tuned, is probably Dinky Escape 32 ESC. The Big Kid Tiny Truck is also good as well, but I have an older one of his. I am sure they're very similar to Dinky. I also have the Mission Impossible theme play when I plug the pack in, so that's cool too. Uh, extra info he gave us. I like ESCs with a good built-in BEC too. Keeps your servos happy. Okay. My current favorite to drive truck uses Dinky slash Micro Komodo combo and weighs around 500 G's. Okay, Venj, thank you. Did I ask anyone else about this? Oh yeah. <laughs> Money Pit RC. Once again, same as the tire video, I reached out to him that way we would have a better idea of probably what not to use based on what he thinks is good. And let me scroll up here, let's see what he said. My favorite setup so far is the FuraTech Mini Komodo paired with the FuraTech Lizard Pro. I mainly run FuraTech because the simplicity of the systems, especially great for beginners. They are very easy to install, super easy to go in the app and tune the system how you want it. Yes, they are a bit pricey for a full kit, but I think it's worth it. Once again, Money Pit surprises us. I'm impressed. I was not expecting this from him. I'm proud. This was a good answer. Something I do want to mention. He says it's very easy to install, super easy to go in the app and tune. If Money Pit says that this is easy, literally anyone else is able to do this easily. Keep that in mind. Money Pit, thank you for that. I threw in two little bonuses here for all of you 4M weirdos. I reached out to David at DBRC. He makes chassis for the 4M. He says, now I asked him specifically for the 4M. Python Pro ESC with the Cedar or Komodo or Fat Viper. Okay, it's actually the same as what we had here. Can't beat the easy Bluetooth setup from PureTech. Once again, the Bluetooth, that's good, yes. Also, he gave us a little bonus information. The stock plastic trans and plastic skid are cheaper than the metal versions. They slide better and keep your weight down. You get better performance for a much lower price. Thank you, David. We have one more person that I reached out. This was another 4M guy. Bear Mountain Crawlers. Jimmy. James. Jim. 
he says, okay, he says, I like fear attack stuff. Okay. Fear attack seems to pretty much be the overall winner for ESCs and motors. James did add a little extra information. He said, I take the ESCs out of the case for weight savings. I guess I'll show you that real quick. The Furitech, I don't know if they all do. Some of the Furitech ESCs come in a little plastic case or, or a metal case. They can come in a case, a couple screws pops that off, and you have less of an ESC. Also, he gave us an inspirational quote, build what you love and have fun. That's, that's actually beautiful. Build what you want and have fun. I think that's all for this video. Hopefully this helps somebody. If you want to leave a comment with your opinions, please do. Yep, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this helped. Don't forget, build what you love. Build what... Build what you... I already forget what it was. Build what you love and have fun. Was that it? Build what you love and have fun. Guys, don't forget. Build what you love and have fun.